This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. It's time now for some handicapping on the weekend's big quarter horse races here at Rodosa Downs. And to do that, we've enlisted the aid of the track announcer, Robert Fox, who is also a pretty good handicapper. In fact, I don't know, are you a better handicapper or race caller? Oh, I think I'm a little bit better race caller, but as far as the handicapping goes, I'm I'm a pretty good. I can hold my own. I'm a pretty good handicapper. When it comes to betting, though, you know that's <laughs> yeah, that's when it gets that's when it gets tricky with all the exotics and stuff. Okay, well we'll leave everybody to figure out their own exotics. But from Robert, let's get an opinion. Let's start with the All American Derby. Is it as simple as it looks? I don't think it's as, as simple as it looks because one sweet just really impressed me. Now my top pick will be Cold Cash One Two Three. 10 starts, six wins, and strangely enough, those six wins all at 440 yards, and what's the distance of the All-American Derby, 440 yards? So I think Cold Cash 1-2-3 probably will remain undefeated, will get that win, but I don't think it'll be easy. I think it'll be probably in a photo. One Sweet Jess, again, like I said, that race, that One Sweet Jess had really impressed me. And uh, the third selection, uh, JLS Mr. Big Time, that was my futurity pick last year, and this year I still love the horse. He had some problems. I heard from a little birdie that he had health problems, and now he may be over that. So I think he had been looking off for me. He didn't even look like the right horse to me this year, and that would explain that. So uh, I'm thinking JLS Mr. Big Time probably can't be overlooked and probably will be somewhere within maybe a half a length, I would think. But yeah, cold cash, one, two, three. Okay, so Robert is picking the favorite in the All-American Derby. Let's see if we get a totally chalk-filled weekend. What about the Futurity? In the Futurity, uh, th this is this is what I've been telling everybody since the meet began, since it was so dry up here and we hadn't had the rains. I was thinking Monday will probably be a horrible day as far as rain and off track goes. Right now, it's it bounces back and forth, the weather forecast has been bouncing back and forth. But since I've been calling races, when it's been raining, there's only one guy who's won races, and that's Paul Jones. And Big Daddy Cartel has been my horse, and I'm sticking with him. Plus, the race that he ran in, in the early part of the day, the track was not good. It was just drawing out. It was really slow. He ran he ran a deceivingly better race than what he even got in the trials, the time that he got. So I still love Big Daddy Cartel, even on a fast track. So that's my horse for as far as winning. I've been bouncing back and forth for second and third between Ochoa and Lot of Love for Robin. But I think I still got to lean a little toward Ochoa. And a lot of love for Robin. I, that's one that I don't think you can underestimate. That one, a lot of love for Robin ran a really good race just to be run down by Ochoa. But uh, that I think those are the two other key horses. But I do like Big Daddy Cartel. Did you rate Ochoa down any because of Jackie Martin not being able to ride? Uh, no, Roy Baldez is taking over. And uh, Roy... He's already done. He's already done the job this year. He's proven capable. I don't think it's much of a difference there. Uh, that is a great replacement for Ochoa. Now, if you were going to throw a wild one in on the bottom of a ticket for the All American Futurity, Robert, what would it be? I'm glad you asked me that question because here, this is a long. This is a long story. I'll try to make it short. I see. I'm. I've been on a lucky streak as far as it goes. As far as these parties, we have parties for the Rio Doso, the Rainbow, and the All American. Now, beginning with last year, I was at the Rainbow that the Rainbow Party, and I was with Brad Bullen and Deborah Godovac and their swinging daddy o their, their swinging daddy -o crowd the two uh, back two years ago, or last year. Uh, and um, he won the Rainbow Derby. Now, this year, I didn't go to the All-American Futurity Party last year. So we come back this year in the Rio Doso. I'm with Brad and Deborah and back in the pack. Back in the pack runs second. Now, in the Rainbow Party, they put me with the Long Knife and the Sleepy Gilbert crowd. So I'm on a good streak. Now, they put me with Mr. E's 1, 2, 3 this time. So that's the long shot there. We'll see how that goes if my luck continues to hold out. Well, we'll find out, I guess, if Robert's lucky for sitting with those people or if they're lucky for having had a seat next to Robert. That's Robert Fox's opinion on All-American Derby and Fraternity Weekend. 
JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing at stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brookstone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. It seemed like it's really, really helped my program. I've had no OCDs in my babies, and when they get to the track, uh, first start breaking them. We haven't had problems going into it, and it seems like to me that the horses grow a little more and, and really develop better with the, the cow density to get them ready to, to get on the track and start the program, and we had real good luck with it last couple of years, keeping the horses a little sounder and, and winning a lot of races. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.